Yeah, yeah I good? see my I see we're my contract good. name up there. I'm trying to see what's going on. No, we're just going through your video that you uploaded. Oh, there he is. We're just looking at your video that you uploaded, and there's a lot of questionable stuff in this video from the people who you're uploading. So we're oh, just tell, well, tell me something. What's questionable about it? Well, the part of Nobujwali not teaching government, we already addressed that. The part with Nobujwali not teaching culture, we already addressed that. The part where Nobujwali not teaching positive and negative law, we already addressed that. And we we're just going to address the, the second part, but I'm just going to play it again. Since you're just jumping on, maybe you might have something to bring clarity to what what this song. Uh, before before we start, I gotta ask you a question. What's your nationality? Moorish American. All right. Yes. So your blood, yeah. so all right. Follow up. So your okay. blood pedigrees are more. What's right? your nationality? I asked you. I'm asking you a pop. I'm a Moorish Moroccan. We in Morocco, correct? You're a Moorish Moroccan. Correct. Are we in Morocco? My bloodline is a Moor. Yeah, but, Mo but Morocco is a nation. Okay, Morocco is also an empire. Am I, am I wrong? Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Keep so, going. so what? So, so if so if Moorish if Moorish pertains to Moors and Moors are Moroccans, then what do you mean you're Moorish Moroccan? Isn't that the same thing Nobu Juali said by saying you're Moorish American? Yeah, no, 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 sir. Let me clear, yeah. clarify. It. So no. nationality, nationality, no. his blood no. pedigree, and no. also political status. No. So again, by no. bloodline, I'm a Moor, and by my national status, I'm a Moroccan because I'm a citizen of the Empire, Empire of Morocco. So, so, so you're so so you're trying to tell me that America doesn't come from the word Morocco. That's what you're saying. Oh no, I'm trying to say that. No, no, that's the question. Okay, the question is. The question is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The question. The answer to your question is yes. 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 There's no problem. There's no problem with this. All right. Let me let me clarify. All right. Who trans? Who transliterated? Hold on. Hold on. from Morocco. Hold on. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down, slow down, because you're you're, All on, right. you're you're on our platform. Slow down. This is not this is not House of Ram where people. Hold on, I, I ain't on that. I'm, on, I'm actually traveling, bro. Not, so I'm this to... is not this is not House of Ram where people skip your questions in the chat and all that stuff. You're gonna get a chance to talk. Hold on. All right, respect. So Nobu Juali said our nationality is Moorish American, right? You asked me my nationality. I told you my nationality is Moorish American. You told me your nationality is Moorish Moroccan. How are those two things different? That's my question. All right, I got it. All right. So your to answer to your question, if you take a pen and put it in your hand and write it on a paper, one says Moroccan, the other one says American. If the Europeans transliterated the word America from Morocco, that means the Moors didn't do that. So why would we call ourselves Americans if America was created through a, a, a British political zone by the crowd? Okay. And, and, we didn't create that. That whole storyline is not true. That I prove pro to me that Moors created America. And you prove to me Moors created America. Respond to me. Because you're saying a whole script right now that's not true. What's the, what's the script? That's what I'm trying to tell you if you will hold on. Like I I'm, I'm holding on. I'm right. Amaru stems from the, the, the rainbow serpent in South in Central and South America. It goes back to the Almex. Further than that. But what we know historically, what we know accurately. Why are you holding up enough? I don't know what you're if you keep saying America, then why you keep holding up the Moroccan flag? Make your mind up. You see, Rise of the Moors on here was doing that on television, and guess what happened? Locked up, holding a Moroccan flag, but claiming United States laws. What's the, what date is on that? June 4th. They were warned twice. I warned them, and then his people warned them, Tamara Abdullah, warned them personally two months prior. It's all on social media about acting like that. 
What do I mean acting like that? Claiming to be a Moor, claiming to be foreign from the United States, but invoking their laws, statutes, codes, constitution, anything besides the treaty. Article one of a treaty, article two of a treaty. And again, they don't ever prove it. All this is taught. The Western and the New and, and the and the Eastern hemispheres by saying that we're more American. Somebody just wanted to be popular. Can I add on to that? Yusuf. Yusuf, this character. All you do is ride fucking dick, bro. Excuse my language, but that's all you do. You a dick rider. And if you're not um if you're not talking, if you could mute so we don't get any background noise, because the um the the, the, the retrograde has this thing tripping. Um go ahead, brother Jamal. If you get the first edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica and look up the definition of American, uh they will say that if uh if more ancient truths are agreed to, then it is true that America was founded by Carthaginians. Again, keep saying that you're an American, but you're holding up a Moroccan flag. And then you wonder why all the news networks think you're crazy. All the news networks are calling Moorish Americans sovereign citizens now. The head of the MSTA has came out. And said that ain't what the prophet said. So what are y'all doing? Carthage is a Moorish city. Carthaginians are Moors. I yield with that. All right. Can I have, ask another question? Go ahead, bro. Oh, okay. In the treaty of 1787, just a question. Here, here's a question. And something that everybody can look up at the same time. Article 20 or Article 21, does it not reference three different separate statutes? It says a born, an American citizen, and a U.S. citizen. That's the uh, can, I, can I get an answer for that? Okay. A more an American citizen, and... A U.S. citizen. All right. Yeah, yeah, it says that. What, what, what's your point? Again, again right. pause. Well, what's my point? My question is, did it say that? And then he says, well, what's my point? So I'm going to clarify here again. If you are more, that means you domiciling in Morocco, the empire of Morocco. If you're an American citizen, that means you're using your straw man, your contract name, whatever name your mother gave you to operate in the British dominion called America. And if you're a United States citizen, that means you subject to the cold statutes and regulations and constitution of being a subject of the United States. Now, let's see if these guys answer this question. My point is, the more is the Moroccan in his own land. No, no, it doesn't say Moroccan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You just it's said Moroccan. what's my point. You no, just asked, bro, bro, you just asked me what's my point. I'm trying to tell you. No, no, but it said more. So if you're saying pen to paper and all that stuff, pen to paper, it says more. It doesn't say Moroccan there. So are you saying that more and Moroccan are the same then? A more and a Moroccan. Moroccan is a more in his own land. Come on, bro. Okay, so if a Moor is a Moroccan and you're going to what's the Moorish American? A Moor by blood pedigree doing business in the British zone. If a say, more, say it's not so. If Hold a Moor, if a Moor, if Noble Jewelry said that a Moor is a Moor. Hold on, why do you keep saying Again, if you didn't cl hear that clearly, well, what, well, what is, he said, well, what is a Moorish American? I said a Moor by blood pedigree and an American that's doing business in the British zone. Meaning, again, as I just said, your mother gave you a name. She gave you that name. 
They didn't give you that name. They might have incorporated the name, but guess who filled out the paperwork, the registration form, the applications? Your mother, my mother, my grandmother, my great-grandmother filled out these papers. And guess what? That means we came under the jurisdiction of the crown because the more the more is a subject to no one. But again, a more has two different statuses. One, blood, pedigree, consanguinity. Two, political allegiance. What he said, I'm, I'm, I'm asking That's what you. That's what we're, we're, ha we're having a conversation about what I'm saying. No, no. The, you're, you're not rebutting what I'm saying, bro. You going to what somebody else said? No, I'm going no, to what I'm what asking you directly. I'm going to what Noble Drew Ali said because the video that you uploaded is trying to discredit Noble Drew Ali. So Thank I'm going to Noble Drew Ali. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. If you read the title of the video, it says, Moorish Americans teach, have taught this concept of what Noble Drew Ali did. Miss Lee Your video says, misconcept that Prophet Noble Juali did everything to restore Moorish government in Morocco. You just lied, bro. Oh, excuse me. Okay, my bad. I thought that, that was another video I uploaded. Excuse me, my bad. Again, I'm saying no Again, what did I say? I stand corrected. I said the wrong title to the video that I thought they were going over. Excuse me that I have another channel, which this one's going to be posted on, Malik Day. Excuse me. Again, I stood up. I said, yeah, you know what? I was wrong. You know what? That's the video for another title. My bad. Friend, I'm dead. My bad. Excuse me. Okay, so here's my question. Hold on. Here's my question. Because the burden of proof is so on So emotional. You. you said that Noble Jubilee didn't do everything. How did he not? How can you explain the Again, another brother got shot, but when your when your brother Jamal Bay is out there, where you at, Cannon Land? Where you at, Sheet? I called you out on this video. Here it go again. You sitting in Canada making videos, bro. Where are you at? Why ain't you outside the courtroom? Where is your publicity on television saying that the head of the MSTA is wrong? You on a YouTube channel. These people are on the news network. Yeah, I know the news is colored, but guess what? How about you get on there and get on the colored network and be like, the MSTA is lying. No, Bajrali did not teach that. Mariza the Moors were doing the right thing because the head of your organization, because that's what you're claiming to be a subordinate of the MST of A, has said he they have nothing to do with you, the, the subordinates, Rise of the Moors, our Canaan land. But I'm causing confusion in the teachings that you told me to go get because you said do your further studies, and I did. And I found out and tried to bring it back to y'all, and guess what? It ain't good enough because it ain't what the prophet said. But if you read the literature, does he does he not say you are descendants of Moroccans born in America? Okay. And did he not also say no one besides Allah can change your bloodline? So if you descendants of Moroccans born in America, and you know America was transliterated from Morocco, and you are descendants of Moroccans, why are you going to call yourself Moorish Moroccans? Come on now. America is the British zone. You cannot prove to me that the Moors created the political jurisdiction of America. And again, you're saying that the word Morocco is transliterated to America. 
All right, then why don't we retransliterate it back to Morocco and start using it and using the treaties and the laws that pertain to Morocco? It's not that hard. So emotional. Again, what what about your brother Jamal that's on here? Rise of the Moors is on here. What about him? He's still locked up. Again, it ain't funny. It ain't funny at all. But again, as I said earlier, he's been warned twice. You think what you, he was doing was right? Okay, the media itself. I know it's a mark of the beast, but it's showing you that it's wrong. How? Because he's holding up a Moroccan flag saying he's foreign, but then invoking their sta statues, their protection, which what I mean, article two, not article two, excuse me, amendment two, right? The, the carry and then uh, the travel Supreme Court cases that he was using to travel. The treaty don't say to use a foreigner's constitution because you cannot prove to me that a Moore wrote the United States Constitution. Yeah, hey. I'm not saying it to be emotional. Unemotional, whatever the case is. But people dying every day. Not gonna do that. not gonna do that here. My question to you is how did Noble Duality not bring everything to save a nation? That's my question. In his teaching, in his teaching, if divine, if the divine, if the divine warning to the nation by Noble Drolly, it clearly says that Morris Americans are United States citizens, are American citizens. No, that's citizens. not true. Bro, bro, come on, read the document, man. Read the okay. document, man. I wish I had the document in front of my hand while I was making this video, but I didn't think that through. You're lying on the prophet now. You're lying on the prophet now. Uh, so you ain't read the divine warning. They don't say that. 101 say it also. What proof do you have to, to say that Noble Jew Ali is a false prophet right now? No one said Noble Jew Ali is a false prophet. Noble Jerry is a senior for his people. I got much respect for Noble Jerry. That ain't the point here. Don't, don't ever question me about what I feel about Noble Jerry, bro. Because I know that he brought to us. My thing is, I'm here to clarify things. Did he or did he not say, all new Moors are going to come and rectify the old Moors that's been teaching this BS? Did he or did he not say it? Yes or no? Chapter 25 say you your brother's keepers. Hold on, hold on. Chapter 25 say you your brother's keepers. What have you been doing, Sheik? Hold on, hold on a second. Again, what have you been doing, Sheik? You've been making videos all week trying to clarify all what Rise of the Moors was doing was right. Man, get out of here, bro. It looks retarded. You holding up. Um, he should have had the United States flag in his hands, the banner. The Stars and Stripes banner when he was out there quoting the Second Amendment, the First Amendment, the right to the militia. He didn't invoke none other, none article of any treaty. He said, we got a treaty with the United States. Okay, then invoke it. Article what says what? You didn't do that. You didn't call for your Moore's deputy one time. You didn't say you was a Morris deputy and you were immune to do whatever you were supposed to do pursuant to 1778 treaty. Nope, you didn't say that. You said constitution, state statutes, codes, Supreme Court cases from the de facto. And all you want to do, Cujo, Kevin, is want to sit up here and defend this instead of learning how to get your boy out of jail. Because Answer the question. Let, let me let me let me address you. Let me address you quick class. Right? Let me address you quick class. Um if you check our, our, our track record for the past 10 years, you can see what we've been doing. 
I don't know what fat, tell, fat, what what Shem been doing for the past ten years. Bro, I heard he's been a pastor. I heard he's been I heard he's been a pastor in a church. I heard he's been a pastor. I heard he was a pastor for the past ten years. I was a grand sheik for the past ten years. I heard Shem was a pastor for the past ten years. A grand sheik is a Moorish government title. It's not someone that sits in a place that's claiming to be a church. What do I mean? The MSTA says religious or uh, corporation right on the top of it. Does it or does it not? All right. Okay. Enough said. So, if nobody dropped... Now, I'm not saying that the ecclesiastical power of a body of people is not supreme power. Not saying that at all. What I'm saying is the MSTA is playing church. How are they playing church? Because the church don't don't do what they're doing. What do I mean by that? That means that the church sits back and say that their United States citizen play good old boys like the rest of the MSTA. But the subordinate temples say, no, that ain't what Noah Badr Ali said. We foreign to the United States. Then, well, if you're foreign to the United States, then quote those foreign laws. Again, if you didn't understand what I'm saying, the MSTA and the church do exactly what they're supposed to do. What's that? Follow the laws. These subordinate ones do not. Again, you're supposed to fall in line with what the prophet said. Your head people of the MSTA said that you're wrong. Said that you're wrong. Moorish Americans are United States citizens. Now, I'm not saying that Moorish Moroccans are United States citizens because a Moor is not, a Moorish Moroccan is not subject to no one. A Moor is not subject to no one. But again, a Moroccan means a Moor being in his own land, claiming a political status to a government, a society, or ecclesiastical body in Morocco, not America. He said, don't let these foreign Muslims speak on your rostrum. How come you guys got these pastors? Dr. G, she's a pastor speaking on your rostrum. Shem, he's a pastor speaking on your rostrum. And you're telling me about what have I done? I'm a sheik. And you're saying sheik in some type of condescending BS as if I haven't put in my work. You sent, you sent me this video. Obviously, I put in my work. If you're going to send me this video, Telling me about yeah, you may have put in your work of letting us know that we ain't black, negro, or colored. All right, but didn't the prophet say there's another half that has not been told? Well, what's the other half? Well, we're in Morocco and we need to claim a political status in Morocco and quit saying that we are Americans unless we want to continue to be subjects. Because going back to the treaty, there's three separate statuses there, and you already said yes, there is. And what was my point? Again, what is my point? A Moor cannot be an American or a United States citizen. A Moor can only be a Moroccan unless he want to be subject to a foreign power. Did Noble Juali do something? And did Noble Juali do this and that? You Good sent point. this to me. I wouldn't Good know about this video if, if you didn't send it to me. And I wouldn't have cared about this video. But because you sent it in the way that you sent it, trying to imply that my prophet is a clown and he didn't know what he's talking about. So I'm supposed to listen to these res Republica people. You're, you're, you're completely mistaken because I don't trust none of those people over there at House of Rand, not even Taj right now. Nobody on that platform do I trust. As he just said, you hear it, you heard it. And here it is again, video, June 4th, 2021. What's the, what's the title? Kenan Land Moore's correcting Jay Finley about Noble Drew Ali teaching government. He just said out his mouth, he does not trust Taj Tariq Bay. And he's trying to use Taj Tariq Bay as evidence for support and rise of the Moors. Come on now, Sheik. Come on, Sheik. You done posted two, maybe three videos of Taj. You just said you don't trust him. 
make your mind up. It's just like holding the United States flag banner and saying that you for it. Excuse me. I meant to say the holding the Moroccan flag and saying that you're foreign to the United States, but invoking their laws. Let me let me make it simple for you. It's like you work at Burger King and I work at rallies. And and you came to rally saying, hey, this is how we do it at Burger King. And I'm like, man, OK, well, this is rallies. Go back to Burger King. It ain't that complicated. Jurisdiction. Learn it. All those people over there are traitors right now. Traitors. And oh my bad. He they're causing conf Taj is causing confusion. And he's a traitor. Taj is causing confusion. And he's a traitor. But you just use him as evidence. You colored, bro. You're so colored. It's all right if you don't know, bro. We all didn't know at one time. Confusion. And how do I know? Because everybody calls the Grand Sheik after they watch something on there to verify some BS that they heard on that channel. Because they're confused. Why are they confused? Because these Johnny Come Latelys, these ex pastors who nobody really told you they're going to be the last ones to come in or whatever like that, these same pastor people are using the master teachers, Brother Abdullah, <laughs> Taj Tariq Bey and whoever else they can get their hands on to cause confusion. Pastors are using Taj Tariq Bay to cause confusion. But you just used him as evidence to prove that Rise of the Boars was right. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. It's all right, Cujo. It's all right, Cujo. I know you don't know, bro. Stuff wasn't confusing before House of Ram. Oh my gosh, before House of Ram, and you've been blaring a video from House of Ram using it as evidence for the rise of the Moors. Oh my gosh, bro, you funny. <laughs> oh man, it's okay, bro. Stay up in the in the political jurisdiction they call Canada and leave your boy in jail. <laughs> Stuff wasn't confusing before before Moore's passport Chicago document. Stuff wasn't confusing before Res Res Publica. How come how come Res Publica is not not in in all those DVDs that from ten years ago? Where's Res Republica? B A. There's plenty of videos where Abdullah and Shim has made public apologies for not knowing 10, 15 years ago that we were operating the wrong way because we were sleep indoctrinated by a pastor by called Noble Gerard Lee. Again, not disrespecting what the man did because, again, he told us that we wasn't Negro, Black, and color, and that's half of the story that has not been told, but there's another half. The other half is political allegiance. And again, this man, Noble Drug Lee, the prophet, the seer for his moors, did not live long enough to correct his mistake. He wasn't here long enough to correct his mistake. You think if the prophet wasn't here right now, he wouldn't have corrected his mistake and he would have realized that, dang, you know what? I was at the Pan-American Conference. Why didn't I deposit my instrument there saying that we in Morocco? You know what? I was at uh, Woodrow Wilson's office and he was talking to the queen. Why didn't I have either one of those head of states to uh, put my proclamation out there saying that I'm the head of Morocco. I'm the head of the Moorish government in Morocco or the head of the Moorish government in America. He didn't say none of that. You know what he did? He placed the instrument in Cook County, a de facto corporation subsidiary of Illinois, a citizen trust, a foreign depository to say this is our authority here in America slash the United States because, uh, again, 
he deposited in a de facto corporate trust. You don't think he would not have realized that you know what out of what he was supposed to do? He didn't live long enough because guess what? Moors killed him. Oh my gosh. Moors killed their own prophet. The Moors killed their own prophet. So he didn't have time to correct it. And excuse me, these brothers that you said, Shem and Abdullah and Sister Tamar are trying to correct the misconcepts, the misteachings, the error. And all it is now is, oh, 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 the prophet didn't say that. But you don't want to look at the evidence. Look at the 1856 treaty with Morocco and Great Britain. You won't see the United States in there one time. That means how can you even invoke Article 6 if the United States is not party to the treaty? I'll wait, and I will still wait because... Yeah. Nothing in there? Zero? And then all of a sudden, these people have some brilliant idea that they're smarter than Noble Drew Ali and they're going to bring back the Moorish government when Moore has been acting as government forever? Even even in our clipped, even in our clipped... Sorry, all right, hold on, man. Hold on, on Pippin, bro. Cause how, I, all right, because I've asked you, I've asked you about nationality documents, and you said go to RV Bay publication. So if you're if you're acting in a capacity as government, why couldn't you handle that? Because you still never answered really? or even said anything about the treaty of 80, 80, 1787. You're going over the point, bro. More, it says no, more American citizen. Hold on, can I address you that? Can I address that? I address that. I address that. You, address that. Address that. Address you did that. not address it. Never addressed the three separate statuses. More American and a U.S. citizen. Meaning that a more cannot be an American. It's two separate statuses. Read the treaty. You I did not address it. It does not say Moorish American. Because what I no said to you. says Moorish American in the in I can treaty. Let me give you the answer because your ass wasn't listening. Let me give you the answer again. When you asked me about the treaty, my answer to you was that it doesn't say Moroccan in there either, just like it doesn't say Moorish American. So don't tell me any BS about it doesn't say Moorish American, so that has nothing to do with Moorish Americans, but it doesn't say Moroccan either. And you're calling yourself Moorish Moroccan. That's not bro, true. Bro, if, if more, if Moror is a stop, Moroccan in his own land, bro, are you serious, bro? If it does not say Moorish if it does not say Moorish Moroccan in the treaty, don't tell me about it doesn't say Moorish American in the treaty. All because right, so, in, so in the treaty, what is the more then? What is the nationality of that more in that treaty then? What do you mean, what, what, do you mean, what is the nationality of What is his nationality in that treaty? It says more. Oh, what what is his nationality? Sundry free moors aren't from... The more in the treaty, because again, it's in the country of...